हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो दिस लेक्चर इज ऑल अबाउट सम रियल वर्ल्ड यूज केसेस ऑफ बिग डेटा व्हिच इज यूजफुल फॉर टुडेस मॉडर्न बिजनेसेस सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट इनटू इट सो टुडेस कंपनीज हैव अ वास्ट अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम ऑल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द ऑपरेशंस सो यू प्रोबेबली हियर सम एनालिस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट हार्नेसिंग द पावर ऑफ बिग डेटा but how exactly this big data provides business intelligence unlike other data mining techniques and how it is different from running sql queries or navigating your excel spreadsheet that we are going to talk in this lecture so nowadays organizations are able to access more data today than ever before but it's not a valuable unless you know how to put it into work so to get started your journey in the big data we have to study some real world use cases which will let you know how companies are taking advantage of data insights to improve the decision making as well as entering the new markets and better customer experience so we will study all the use cases including the challenges that we might face so the first sector is healthcare use cases so the healthcare organizations are using big data for everything from improving profitability to helping save the lives so these companies hospitals and researchers collect massive amount of patients data but all this data isn't useful in isolation so it is really important when the data is analyzed to highlight the trends and threats in patterns and it will create a predictive model so these are some four use cases of big data in the healthcare industry that we are going to see one by one so the first one is genomic research So big data can play a vital role in genomic research. So using this big data, a researcher can identify disease genes and biomarkers to help patients pinpoint the health issues which they might face in the future. So it will allow healthcare organization to design some personalized treatments. But it also have its challenges such as companies must integrate data coming from different formats and identify the signals that will lead to a optimizing maintenance the second use case is patient experience and outcomes so these organizations seek to provide a better treatment and improved quality of care without increasing the cost so how they can do this it is possible by using the big data which helps them improve the patient experience is most cost effective manner So with it healthcare organization can create a 360 degree view of patient care as the patient moves through various treatments and departments which also comes with challenges it includes a large amount of patient's data some of which could be a multi structured data such as doctor notes or images and additionally we have to analyze patient journey through paths and graphs analysis are often needed the next one is claim fraud so for every healthcare claim there can be hundreds of associated reports in a variety of different formats so this makes it a very difficult to verify the accuracy of insurance incentives programs and find the patterns that can indicate a fraudulent activity so big data will help here to detect potential fraud by flagging certain behaviors for further examinations but it includes a complex process that involves integrating different data set analyzing the claim data and identifying the complex fraud patterns and the last one is billing analytics so big data can improve the bottom line by analyzing billing and claim data as well as organizations can discover lost revenue opportunities and places where the payment cash flows can be improved So this application requires integrating bill data into various payers as well as analyzing large amount of data and identifying some patterns in the billing data but the volume of data can be large and can be complicated especially when it comes to integrating different data sources so that's the challenge for it the next big data use case is a financial services so some forward thinking banks and financial services are capitalizing on big data so from capturing new market opportunities to reducing fraud financial services have been able to convert big data into a competitive advantage 
now we will see some three main application in the field of financial services the first one being fraud and compliance so when it comes to security it's not just a few rogue hackers the financial service industry is up against entire expert teams so while security landscape and compliance requirement are constantly evolving so using big data these companies can identify patterns that can indicate fraud and aggregate large data volumes of information to streamline regulatory reporting but it also requires aggregating different data sources and it could be difficult process the next one is anti money laundering so financial services are under more pressure than ever before from the government passing anti money laundering laws so these laws will require that bank shows proof of proper diligence and can submit a suspicious activity reports in this area big data analytics can help companies to identify potential fraud patterns it requires analyzing large volume of transaction data so it could be a difficult task and the last one being financial regulatory and compliance analytics so the financial services must be in a compliance with wide variety of requirements concerning risk conduct and transparency and at the same times bank must comply with some other regulations that require detailed reporting so it has its own challenge as the large data volumes as well as create advanced risk model and do quickly without adversely affecting other projects so this was all about financial services use cases so the next use case is manufacturing big data use cases so the digital revolution has transformed the manufacturing industry and they are now finding new ways to harness all the data which will generate to improve operational efficiency as well as streamline the business processes and uncover some valuable insight which will drive the profits so these are some three major use applications in the manufacturing field the first one is a predictive maintenance so what really it means so big data can help predict equipment failure because the potential failures will halt all the production system and can stop the production line so potential issues can be discovered by analyzing both structured data as well as a multi structured data which includes error messages engine temperature and other factors so with this data manufacturers can maximize parts and equipment uptime and deploy maintenance more cost effectively so this data can be used to predict more than just equipment failure for many processes it's also important to predict the remaining optimal life of system and components to ensure that they perform within the specifications but it has some own challenges which includes different formats and identify the signals will lead to optimizing maintenance but it has its own challenges which includes they must integrate data coming from different formats and they have to identify the signals that can lead to a optimizing maintenance the next one is operational efficiency so it is the one of the area which big data can have most impact on the profitability so with big data you can analyze and assess the production processes proactively and you can respond the customer feedback and anticipate the future demands and the last one is production optimization the production line can decrease cost and increases the revenue so optimizing production line can decrease cost and increase the revenue of company so big data can help here to understand the flow of items through their production lines to see which area can benefit the most so this data analysis can reveal which steps leads to increased production time and which areas can cause the delays the next one is retail sector so the competition is very fierce in the field of retail so to stay ahead companies strive to differentiate themselves and the big data is being used across all the stages of retail processes from product prediction to demand forecasting to in store optimization so using big data retailers can find new ways to innovate so these are some 
application of big data in the field of retail the first one being product development so big data can help anticipate the customer demand it will do that by classifying key attributes of past and current products then it will model the relationship between those attributes and the commercial success of the offerings and you can build the predictive models for new products and services the next one is a customer experience so big data provides retailers with a clear view of customer experience that they can use to tune their operations so by gathering the data from social media vlogs and call logs and other interactions companies can improve the customer interaction and maximizes the value has to be delivered so this can be used to deliver personalized offers reduce the customer churn and proactively handle the issues the next one is a customer lifetime value so all customers are valuable but some are more valuable than the others so here the big data will provide some insights on customer behavior and their spending habits so you can identify your best customers once you know who are they then you can use marketing to send them some special offers and the sales team can devote more time to them the next one is a in store shopping experience so big data can help us here to improve the in store experience so many retailers are starting to analyze data from mobile apps as well as in store purchases and geo locations to optimize the customer experience to complete the purchase and the last one is pricing analytics and optimization so here the retailers will need to know the true profitability of the customers and how markets can segment it as well as the potential of any future opportunities and the margin analysis can help with identifying pricing improvement and areas where the profits may be leaking the next sector is a telecommunication so the popularity of smartphone and other devices has given telecommunication companies a tremendous growth opportunities but there are challenges as well as organizations works to keep pace with customer demands while managing an ever expanding volume of data so these are some three main application in the field of telecommunication the first one is optimizing the network capacity so optimal network performance is very essential for any telecom success so network usage analytics can help companies to identify areas with excess capacity and reroute bandwidth as needed so big data analytics can help them plan for infrastructure investment and design new services which meets the customer requirements the next one is telecom customer churn so what do you mean by that by analyzing the data telecoms already have about service quality the convenience and other factors this telecoms can predict overall customer satisfaction and they can set up alerts when customer are at risk of churning and they can take actions with retention campaigns and proactive offers and the last one is new product offerings so by creating predictive models companies can measure well production to understand usage rate so with deeper data analysis engineers can determine why actual data outputs aren't telling with their prediction and our last field is oil and gas production so from the past few years oil and gas industry have been leveraging big data to find new ways to innovate so the industry has a long made use of data sensors to track and monitor the performance of oil wells machinery and operations so oil and gas companies have been able to harness this data to monitor well activity create model of earth to find new oil sources and perform many other value added task so these are some three main application in the field of oil and gas industry the first one is predictive equipment maintenance so i hope you already discussed some similar topics in the field of manufacturing so similarly here 
oil and gas companies often lack visibility into the condition of their equipment especially in the remote offshore and the deep water location so here big data can help by providing insights so companies can predict the remaining optimal life of their system and components which will ensures their asset operate at good production efficiency the next application is oil exploration and discovery so exploring for oil and gas can be expensive but companies can make use of vast amount of data which is here in the drilling and production process to make informed decision about new drilling site so the data generated from seismic monitors can be used to find new oil and gas resources by identifying traces that were previously overlooked and the last one is oil production optimization so unstructured sensors and historic data can be used for optimizing well production so by creating predictive models companies can measure well production to understand usage rate so with deeper data analysis engineers can determine why actual well outputs aren't telling with their predictions so this was all about some use cases of big data in the modern business where we have seen the impact of big data in many sectors so if you like this lecture please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching